What's up there? How you doing? Hello, sir. Hi. Uh, how old are you? Uh, I'm 26. 26. Okay, awesome. All right. So what do you want to talk about there, bud? Um, like, uh, what? Uh, so, <laughs> my bad. I stutter sometimes. Uh, That's fine. So like, what do you, like, why don't you believe that God is real? Like, I'm Christian. Like, I believe Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I want just putting that out there. Okay. Spe- uh, spe- spectacles testicles wallet and watch there we go um so i don't i don't believe in god uh because i don't see any evidence that warrants uh belief in god all right um that's why i i I find like weird to people why how do you believe the earth was made i don't think that the earth was made i think the earth formed naturally you think that all right so how we're living like seas water humans like all creation uh well okay so i don't acknowledge it as as creation for one but for two uh the planet came together because there was uh there was like a huge gas cloud that collapsed um possibly from a, a an exploding star that was nearby it collapsed and formed all these dust particles the dust particles eventually collected together through electrostatic forces and then once enough material collected together gravity took over and uh typically in a 3d space with you know a center point and gravity pulling it in they're going to form spheres so the earth formed as a sphere uh, it spent you know hundreds of thousands of of, of years as, as we were to experience them as this molten rock that was still like forming and everything like that the moon was formed when a, a another uh, planetoid body was in the same orbit as us and crashed into the earth and jettisoned a little bit out and and formed the moon and then you know the earth formed that way water was probably deposited on this planet from uh different uh comets and meteors that would strike the planet depositing water and uh once water started to collect and form here that's when uh bio uh, uh natural chemical processes would have been churning and everything like that and eventually life would have started to form that just can't happen but no, I mean that that does have. That's how we 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 know how planets form. We we know how stars like uh, explode, and we know how stars form. We know how water is deposited on planets via meteors. All all Everything of that has to be created, though. Everything has to be created. No, it doesn't have to be created. Uh, Everything uh, energy, has to be created. So we've not experienced energy being created whatsoever. And so that's one of the laws of thermodynamics. And so energy has always existed. Energy has always been eternal. And um, energy can transform into what we uh, experience as matter today. And so, that I mean, it's just a, a transformation of energy between like potential or, or chemical or uh, energy in that kind of way to like, you know, uh, energy in the form of ma- matter. Life form so it, had to be made from life. Cannot just life cannot just be made out of just like uh, life cannot just be uh, spontaneously made. Like life has <laughs> life has. No, to we, I don't. I don't believe in spontaneous. Uh, like life coming around spontaneously. Um, life formed over millions and millions of years and uh, we've actually got some pretty good models like there's the RNA world model that I really like um, that stipulates that a chemical known as RNA initially formed and then um, once you know after a long time uh, it eventually would form into DNA and then you know life uh, uh, just slowly uh, forms after that and once life started to form it just continued to form and continued to uh, survive and thrive. So like that, that is something that can happen just naturally. We, we've all, we've got the Miller Urey experiment that uh, shows that um, the building blocks of life can form naturally without any kind of uh, intelligent intervention. Okay, well, if you're just going to keep talking and you actually have no knowledge on how life is, like the earth can't just be formed through a bunch of particles in space and like the water hitting like meteorites. That's just not how it like fully formed. No, no. So, so I, I'm, I am making a claim. I'm making those claims, but those claims are supported by scientific evidence. Scientific. And, 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 and it, th- those are just how we know planets to form. So, like, if you're going to go and, and you research. You're trying to say human life. You're no, 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 no. I didn't say human life. You said life. You're mixing up 
like you're 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 mixing up all of your terms and everything like this. This is typically I'm called an equivocation. Like, this is well, so you're using an equivocation fallacy in order to confuse the conversation. If you want to talk about human life, we can talk about how human, human life. life yes. If you want to talk, I want you to know if, you, if you, hold on, if you, if you want to talk about how uh, life in general formed, we can talk about that. If you want to talk about how the planet formed, but you're mixing up so many different areas of science that uh, it's it's a little difficult to keep track of it. So, are you wanting to understand how human life formed? I already know how human life was formed. I want you to tell me how you think human life. No, no, no. I want you to tell me how human life formed from dust with the hands of God. Right. So you think that magic created us? No, God. God isn't what? magic. God is before time. No. So, so differentiate between magic and whatever the fuck God does. <laughs> okay. God. He uses his power because he. He has all power, so he can do basically anything he wants. Magic has proven to not be real, it's like magicians and all that. No one can use magic. Magic is not real. It's the work no, of no, God. I'm, I'm, saying, I'm saying that God is the wizard that uses magic. God isn't So I, I'm asking you, so like magic uh, is, is using incantations or using alchemy or something like that to uh, basically break the natural flow of reality and cause something to happen. So like, how is that different from what God does? God is God. You are a Christian, right? Yes. When you were a Christian, you believe that God was all powerful, right? Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, and what made you stray away from that? Uh, I serious, uh, I I uh, seriously considered what I believed and why I believed it, and uh, I uh, eventually, once I did like a, a, a critical analysis of those things, uh, I was not convinced by the arguments that were presented. Yes, Acts seventeen is talking about how you shouldn't like ignorantly follow God. You're supposed to um, know what you're uh, following, the people that Paul were talking to. So. Uh, so you didn't know what you were following when you were a Christian? You were blindly following? No, no, no. I mean, I thought that I knew. I, I understood. I believed what I had been taught. But it was when I looked without the help of a pastor or a priest that mm -hmm. I, I, I was able to suss out, you know, you know how, how irrational the things were. And what did, you, uh, what did you suss out in your words that led you to believe that? God wasn't all powerful and he's the creator of all. What made you stray away from that? Right. Well, uh, okay. So creator of all, I've never believed in God as a creator of all, I, except for maybe when I was a child. How are you Christian? Except, except for maybe when I was a child and I believed in, you know, like Adam and Eve and, and you said 20 uh, years you were a Christian, right? Right. Yeah. Like, you can be, you, you can be Christian. You can be Christian. Oh, true Christian. Don't go down that route, dude. No, there is a uh, difference between being Christian. No, 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 no. So no, you no, are no. Christian is what I'm hearing. No, no, no. I was, I was a Christian. I was a By Christian. yourself or because of no. your parents? No, I mean, I was a Christian because I went to church and I, I believed in Jesus and all that. Like, I, I, I was a Christian. You're not going to take away my religious background just because you don't want to admit that Christians can believe in evolution. You just can't because God created animals and humans differently. No, no, no. So, you, so a Christian no. can't be a creationist and, and accept evolution. But, uh, you know, you can be a Christian and accept evolution. And so I don't think that you understand the difference. Not evolution there. as a start. You can't, you can't uh, accept an evolution as an origin, as a Christian. You just, you just can't. Yeah, you can. No, you cannot. No, yeah, uh, uh, I've I've heard it many a times coming from a Christian. Christians uh, that are that believe uh, in evolution, that accept evolution, they uh, just say that God uh, is the the guiding hand that started evolution off. Like they typically go back to like you know life uh, coming uh, emerging four point five billion years ago uh, on the planet, and uh, you know God is the one that started life, and then once He started the process of evolution and started the process of life, it just naturally took off, and he there like maybe he had a guiding hand in it or something like that, but basically they accept the natural process of evolution. God gives us specifically on how He made the Earth. You can't just. You can't just, he never said evolution. Evolution as a start is not, is not true. 
he gave us six days and what he did seventh day rested you know that and yeah and and when and and exactly where did the light come from in the first three days you know before god created the sun so that plants could survive like on what was it day two plant uh pl- land animal and vegetation god created um god created light before he created plants on earth oh god where where, where is that in the bible what uh how god created the six days no 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 like what god didn't create the sun until about the third day i believe are you trying to say that he created plants before he created light he, yes so it, well before he created the sun God said, let there be light, but he doesn't create the sun until, uh, let's see. Yes, and God said, let there be lights in the vault of the sky to separate, huh? He created light. Yeah, fourth day. Sorry, it was the fourth day. On the first day, he created the sun and moon. He created light on the first day, sky and sea on the second day, dry land and vegetation on the third day, and sun and moon on the fourth day. Wait, do you, can, can you run through that again? First day, light. Second day, sky and sea. Third no, day, well, Right, right. No, but you said God created the sun and moon on the first day. He created light before he created dry, uh, Where day. where did the light where was the light being emitted from? Uh, God said he created light. He never he didn't say where the light was coming from, as far as I So read. just there was just light fucking everywhere. So if God's if, all powerful, you don't believe God can just make light? Well, I think that there has to be some something that emits light in order for light to be there. Like, I, I can't think of any instance where light is not being emitted from something. God never God never said God's all powerful. So when you try and explain that everything he does, if God says he created light. OK, he said he created light and light is just everywhere. How was there a day and night? Can he not admit light? He created light. So God bent over and goat seed light out of his asshole. Okay, that's disrespectful and blasphemous, but no. <laughs> what about me makes you think that I would be respectful of your God? Uh, okay, so how are, you weren't a true Christian, clearly. <laughs> Was it a true? Just because I don't placate to your religious sensibilities now means that I was never a real Christian? Fuck off. That guy was uh, first of all, I'm I'm I, I agree with the chat. I'm doubting that he was as old as he was, but you know, uh, I'm not gonna sit there and try to guess ages based on vocal pitch or anything. But it was just that was a bit that was a bit crazy. Uh, he was obviously too deeply entwined in Kinham thinking to to actually be reached. So 